Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 29 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So, it's got to get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, holy shit, that's loud. I can't imagine going anywhere in the cold. Of course you are. Hmm. Oh, look how she changes so freaking quickly. So now what? Yeah, unfortunately. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> like, yeah, just bring books to her room. No, 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 no. You have a right to say something. Damn, I thought we were going to see something else with the freaking orphans. Come on now. You know how long it's been since we've seen something about the orphans. Oh, 
God, she's going back into her bitchy phase again, and I don't really like that at all. Well, fuck you, too. <sighs> gotcha. Yeah, because you don't want to overuse it and overwork yourself. Mm, it looks like wine. Seriously? Nothing else? might be bad yeah and then plus the taste of it might not be the greatest as well mm -hmm. it is but it'll be worth it in the end I know that feeling. You have a problem with that? This screams bad idea. You want her to do every single- oh my god. Oh, those two. Yeah, because it could be a trap.
Yeah, and you have to get used to that smell. <laughs> Poor baby. Perfect. <laughs> Wake up. So, uh, uh. possibly that one do that's after her. course they're gonna come to be against it oh I know but now it's getting deadly someone just died because of this we can't risk anything with her excuse me It's important. No one can do things that mine can do. I mean, come on now. Mm
I know. There's no other choice though. It's the only way for her safety and yours. I know. I know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I swear that sounds so much like him. I need to look up who this man is voiced by because if it's him, oh. Really? Mm-hmm. Not done? As well? You would think it would be five. me yeah i mean because come on man but like you know the taste of pepto-bismol uh, uh, or some a medicine that's like cherry flavored or strawberry flavored uh, it's pretty
Oh, okay, so we have four. How many do we have now? Like, he either is in the current opening for this season, or he was in the previously opening. Or he was in one of the previous episodes in the previous season. I don't know. But I've seen him before. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, so then, why are those two also a company of mine? So, of course, we're not going to be able to know until next week. But, like, to finally see both of her parents come... And talk about this situation that, like, even I don't even like talking about. And the fact that, you know, by the age of 10, it's either she gets adopted by a noble or she dies. It, it's still one of the most fucked up things to me. And it, it's a lot for a little girl her age. And having to think about that. You're either going to be adopted and possibly never see your family again. Or you're going to die and you're never going to see your family again. This is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. There, There's a lot riding on this. And so I hope and pray that if, let's say by the age of 10 for her, she's able to control her powers and her mana specifically. And, you know, the guy who wants to adopt her, um, adopts her and stuff. Would he even be nice enough to let her spend time with her family? I understand that, you know, it might not be a no, especially with last week's episode, because it's not only for her safety, but everyone who she cares about and such. But I'm like, oh, like we can't organize, like, secret meetings or some shit. I don't know. And then Wolf was dead. What the hell is going on? Oh, I can't. It's too much. I know that feeling. I'm busy too this week. I think I'm going to be busy the next few weeks. <laughs> One thing that I'm kind of hoping... Oh, it's so pretty, baby! Um, that everything just goes well for her, especially going into episode 30 next week. And then the fact that, you know, she finally has the letters and that she can make, um, a press and well, yeah, a press to make more books and stuff like yes, of course, because that's what mine wants at the end of the day is just to make more and more books and, you know, to make money on it and be a businesswoman. Because technically in a way that is what she is. And I love that. And so it's just like, oh my God, I just, I don't want anything going wrong with whatever the fuck is going to happen in these next few episodes, but something just tells me, like, there's always, there's that weird feeling I have every time I watch this show, where I'm like, we're getting closer and closer to where I, where I feel like it's going to get worse, and we're going to get a little, like, crazy, and a lot of bad things are going to happen. Like, we, we technically already got there, like, with the last few episodes, but we're really going to get there if something worse comes. We already now have a death, because these people are after mine. And I, I was like, okay, a little little quick prediction because this, I'm going to laugh at myself next week if this fucking happens in the next few weeks. Let's say, okay, one of the people, one of the nobles that is after mine, right? Let's say he, see, he she, whoever, secretly, because it's the guy as of right now, disguises himself as like a priest or someone else, you know, also going to this thing next week and takes that time to kidnap mine. If that happens, I'm just gonna be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, y'all are supposed to be on mine's butt and watching her. Like, her front, her back, her sides, you know, every little thing of mine. You have to be on her. Like, <laughs> you know how, like, if you are driving, like, and, and I can only say this to people who have drive. If you've ever driven before, and when you are, like, trying to make sure or even you know what no, okay i'll give you two of the reasons continuing on my driving thing when you are trying to make sure like if it's you and your friend and you're in two different cars and you're both going the same way and you're following each other for directions and you literally have to stay on that person's butt 
in order for, like, so no one comes in. And then you're like, well, damn it, because of this person right here, I now have to go around this person just to get behind my friend. Or when you're about to close up the store or wherever you work at for work, and God heaven forbid, you are trying to hurry up and before any of these last minute shoppers decide to come up to your store and be like, hey, I want to shop. And be like, no, 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 we're closed. We're closed. Like, clock ticking. Like, tick tock. Get your button in the store. Get your button high gear and get back out. Like, that's what it is. You have to be on her almost 24-7. Like, I cannot imagine if, like, mine ever had to use the restroom or to have, like, a moment of peace by herself because you don't know what these people are capable of in order to wanting to kidnap her. So who knows what in the world is going to happen from this next week to the final episode of this last season. But we just got to wait and see. But other than that, I mean, it was a very interesting episode. I'm just so sad about everything. I don't want mine to turn 10 because in the back of my mind, I'm just like, bro, like, it, this is, it's going to make me cry and I don't want her to die because I love her so much. And it, it's, it's, it'll be weird if we get to the end of the show and she dies. Like, everything that she's done, it wouldn't be for nothing and it wouldn't be in vain. But the fact is that she probably couldn't see anything else after that because she dies will fucking hurt. Like, Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> please. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 29 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on Monday for episode 30. Bye, guys.